Hi everyone, I am doing my rebuttal video against Ashley, who is for the death penalty, and her central argument really is the eye for an eye approach, also known as the law of retaliation or retribution, for example, getting even for the victim. However, this law really is flawed and the argument's flawed, and I will highlight that throughout the rebuttal. Death penalty advocates and politicians argue that when a state executes a person who has committed a terrible crime, the act brings closure to, to the victim's family. Um, but it's not that simple and a lot of times that isn't true. In fact, many families denounce the use of the death penalty using an execution to try to right the wrong for the victim that is killed really only causes more pain. Um, for example, I found that um, a gentleman by the name of Bud Welch, um, his daughter was killed in the Oklahoma City bombing. And at first he wanted to retaliate and he wanted that person who committed the bombing to die. And then he thought about what he actually wanted and thought about what Julie wanted. And he is quoted as saying, killing is simply vengeance and it was vengeance that killed Julie. Vengeance is a strong and natural emotion, but it has no place in our justice system. And I got that from Michigan State University and Death Penalty Information Center. In addition, the death penalty causes more pain because families are traumatized by the multiple appeals and the long process of the death penalty that precedes an execution. A 2012 study concluded families in Minnesota were able to move on sooner because their loved ones' killers were sentenced to life without parole rather than the actual death penalty. Many of these families are put through a lengthy process of trials and actually reliving the whole murder and this causes many problems within the family. Um, I thought it was important to point out a quote that was said by a lady named Gail Rice whose brother was a Denver police officer that was killed and this was her view on the death penalty and how she does not support it because it didn't bring closure to her family. Um, the death penalty means victims' families are putting their lives on hold for years, sometimes decades, as they attend new hearings and appeals and relive the entire murder. Um, in addition, a PBS article points out that it is hard to actually obtain closure and that there is a closure myth surrounding the death penalty. Um, many families never actually receive closure um, with the death penalty, so this argument really is flawed because there's no way to actually define closure and that their loved one is actually gone and there's no really way to achieve justice and to really level that out. So it doesn't matter if it's life without parole or the death penalty. For many victims' families, they really don't think that closure is really a good argument to supporting the death penalty because they never really achieve that. So in conclusion, the law of retribution or retaliation or the eye for an eye approach really is just an Old Testament law that is outdated for the new world of equality and justice. Um, our criminal justice system really does not have any room for this law and it's unconstitutional and it really just is barbaric and does not follow um, moral guidelines.